Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and this is question number 13 from the May June 2020 International GCSE IGCSE Cambridge um, 0580 Paper 2 Variant 1. <clears throat> and this question here is with this shape here, we have like um, <coughs> triangle inside a triangle inside a circle. Uh, not to scale, we've been given some lengths, and it says C lies on a circle with diameter AD. So we know that the AD is the diameter of the circle. B lies on AC. Okay, B lies on AC. <coughs> and E lies on AD such that BE is parallel to CD. So we have a pair of parallel lines here as well. AB equals 21 centimeters and CD equals 18 centimeters and B equals 13.5 centimeters. So all those bits of information are marked on the diagram. It says work out the radius of the circle. Okay, so now here we have a situation where we need to find the radius of the circle. So let me call this, this point O, the center of the circle. Let me call it O. So we need to find the length of OA. And I know the length of OA is the radius of the circle. So that's going to be half of AD. So if I can find what AD is, half of that, <clears throat> half of that will be OA. So I'm going to focus on finding the length of AD. Now what we have here is we have a um, triangle inside another triangle, you could say, right? <coughs> so these two triangles are similar triangles. Now how do I know they are similar? because these lines are parallel to each other. Therefore, this angle and this angle are equal. We know that angle AEB is equal to angle ADC. Okay, they're both the same size because they are corresponding angles. They're corresponding angles. They make this kind of F shape because of the parallel lines. And similarly, this angle, I know for sure this angle is a right angle. And it's going to be equal to this angle because they are. Um, <coughs> this is a why is it a right angle? Because it's a triangle that's standing on the diameter. Okay, it's standing on the diameter of the circle. AD is the diameter. So any angle which stands on the diameter is going to be a right angle. So I know that ACD is equal to 90 degrees because you can say angles in a semicircle. Okay, that's what, um, what we normally say for the reason, Am angles in a semicircle, because this diameter makes a semicircle. So this angle is standing on this semicircle, so it is 90 degrees. And I know the angle ABE is also equal to 90 degrees because it's corresponding, corresponding angles with ACD. Okay, so these two definitely are similar triangles because we know that two of the angles are the same. Of course, the third one is a common angle, A. So they're similar. So we can use similarity to find some of these lengths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this triangle. Okay, I'm going to draw the triangle ACD. Okay, this is the triangle ACD. <clears throat> That's ACD. Let me one second, let me group this together, make it one triangle, and move this over here, so we can deal with it down here. Okay, that's that's a triangle ACD. Um, I'm going to take a copy of this and make it smaller to show the other triangle which was inside it, which is sm <laughs> smaller than it. Okay, so there's another triangle inside here. Okay, which is basically this other triangle that we've got here, which is ABE. Okay, and this triangle here, ABE. I'm going to draw the triangle ABE outside of ACD. So the outside of each other. Okay, we <laughs> we know that they're similar. So we have our A. Okay, which we know this is also A on this triangle. And then for the big triangle, we have our C and D over there. We know this is a right angle. This is D. And for the small triangle, we have the angle A. We have the triangle ABE. So this is B, which is a right angle as well, and this is E. I know that this angle is the same as this angle. 
and of course this angle is the same as that angle, a similar triangle. So let's put the lengths in that we know. We have 21 is from A to B, so this is 21 centimeters. And we're also given 13.5 BE and 18, so this is um, 13.5 for BE and 18 for CD. So I've drawn the small triangle outside, <coughs> that's 13.5. Now, if I can find what AD is, which I'm going to call X, I know what we're looking for is going to be half of this. All right, what else do we have here? Okay, we don't have anything else. Okay, so now we need to find what X is. Now, in order to find what X is, um, I can use the fact that this is a right angle and use Pythagoras' theorem if I know this length. If I can find what this length is here, okay, <coughs> then I can use Pythagoras' theorem to find X because I don't know the length of AE. If I knew the length of AE, I could use similarity to find what this is because I can see that there's a ratio of lengths that I can use. I can say that this is going to be 18 over 13.5 times whatever that length is. I don't know what that length is, so I can't use find x directly from here. However, I can use similarity to find the length AC. I'm going to call it y. So the length AC, if I find AC first, then I can use Pythagoras' theorem to find AD. And what we're looking for is a half of AD. So it's a bit of a clever question here. You have to, you have to know that that angle is 90 degrees that is standing on this diameter. All right, so it's essential for you to know that rule here. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to know to use Pythagoras' theorem. So I can use similarity to find y. I know that, for example, for AC, there's different ways you can think about it. So y over 21, the ratio of this length to this length, is going to be the same as the ratio of 18 to 13.5. 18 over 13.5. You can also think of it as y is equal to 21. It's going to be corresponding to 21. And the <laughs> ratio of the lengths is 18 over 13.5, bigger over smaller. <coughs> 18 over 13.5. Both of them will give us, of course, the same answer. 21 times 18 over 13.5. And we can find out what that is. Of 21 times 18 divided by 13.5. And that gives us 28 centimeters so we know this is 28 centimeters okay so now we can find what ad is ad is going to be the square root of by pythagoras um, it's the hypotenuse so it's going to be the square root of 28 squared plus 18 squared so we're going to have 28 squared plus 18 squared and that gives us 1008 if i find the square root of that 1108 sorry okay that gives us 33.28 so let me just write it down as it was before that so it's going to be the square root of 1108 the square root of 1108 that's ad so we can say that therefore the radius the radius is going to be a half times the square root of 1108 so this answer that we have here okay which was 28 squared plus 18 squared just make sure Yep, so the square root of the answer, and we're going to multiply by, by that by a half, so we end up with the square root of 277. That's going to be the square root of 277, <coughs> which gives you, so you, if you multiply that by 0.5, which we need to do to find the radius, that gives you 16.64. Okay, so 16.643, 16.643, which, if they don't say otherwise, we have to write to three significant figures, 16.6 .6 centimeters. All right, so that's quite a clever question here, actually. <clears throat> you have to use similarity, and also you have to use Pythagoras' theorem. You have to know about these angles being 90 degrees. So at first, when I saw this question, I was wondering why did they put it in a circle? Because we know that these are similar shapes, so I can work out what these angles are. And so on using similarity, so it's like, why did they put this in a circle? But then when you realize that this angle must be 90 and this must be 90, then you know you are going to have to use Pythagoras' theorem to find the length needed because they don't give us the corresponding length in the other triangle. So it's quite a clever question, I guess. How many marks is it worth? Five marks, I guess that's about right. So yeah, there's that question number 13. <clears throat> this is, um, as I said, quite an, a, a decent question. You have to think a little bit about it. Um, other questions from this paper are found in this playlist that will be somewhere in this area. 
other questions from this topic, which I guess is similarity. The main question, the main part of this topic is similarity, but you also have angles and circles in here as well. And Pythagoras is there, but I'll, I'll, put, I'll class it under similarity. And there will be the playlist for similarity questions from IGCSE over here. And you can click on the link in the middle to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and see you soon.